with more and more stressors happening earlier in development from sleeping to eating and pooping challenges for newborns to chronic ear infections and colic for babies and sensory processing disorders and you know behavioral challenges for children and teenagers it's really hard to see or know where to start but the truth is oftentimes what we have to do is look back to go forward and what we need to talk about are the three developmental milestones that aren't talked about nearly as often or as much or at all and we need to sit down and see what are they how strong are they and how do we set up the best foundation for your child's health and healing now these milestones are eating sleeping and pooping we really have to look at these three baby basics to know how to truly help your child I'm Dr. Nicole, a pediatric chiropractor, and these neurodevelopmental milestones are something that parents really need to be educated on and also shown the importance of because they really truly are the building blocks for everything else in terms of development, in terms of life, in terms of health. And so in a moment, I'll be showing you why this is, why how easily a child is eating, sleeping, and pooping sets a child's health up for the rest of their life. Now, you know, sadly, we get parents coming in whose childs are struggling, and it's oftentimes not just with one struggle, but a multiple um, or a multitude of struggles. It's really, you know, sleep, digestion, immune functions, all at once creating a storm of, you know, exhaustion and chronic fatigue, both for a child and their body and also a parent, really. And it creates, you know, an emotional storm as well, having seen your child struggle having your child struggle, it's very, very tough. So what we're gonna talk about is the developmental hierarchy using those baby basics as a foundation to all of the struggles that your children may be going through. Now, if you're a parent who needs or wants and has been trying to find the answers to why is my child struggling with an array of symptoms and I know somehow that they're all tied together but I just don't know how this video is really gonna speak to you. So let's dive into the hierarchy right now. For a brand new baby, they really only have three jobs. We call them, like I said, the baby basics. It's eat, sleep, and poop. Baby basics right here. Now, it really sets the foundation for everything else you see right here. And this first and last, or this first and third baby basic, eat and poop, are really the plumbing. It's really the allowing the body to one, eat, allowing your child's body to eat and eat often, allowing their body to integrate all the good stuff and get rid of all of the bad stuff on a regular basis. Now this middle one, this middle baby basic, the sleep portion of it is really, we know that sleep is important for everyone in life at every stage of life, but for children, babies, all of them, it's extremely important because not only does it physically allow them to grow and develop the muscles, the bones, the organs, the tissues, but it also is absolutely essential for brain development, brain and cognition, higher functions, memory, speech, um, you know, social skills, emotional regulation, and everything in between that you see here at that bigger brain level. And so what I want to talk to you about right now is the foundation of everything, the thing that controls all of the systems that that control the eat, the sleep, the poop, those baby basics, and that is the central and autonomic nervous system. Now, the nervous system is incredible, it's intricate, it's advanced, but it's basic at the same time. If we look at the developmental hierarchy as kind of a to-do list for our babies and our children, it really showcases how setting a strong foundation allows the brain to you know graduate or progress and activate and initiate each of the next levels of development for a child so if your child's struggling with reflux constant vomiting they're struggling with constipation bloat um, sleep challenges it's be probably because the brain is not fully allowing your child to graduate to the next levels of development what we do at Sprout Family Chiropractic is we look to the thing that controls everything, the brain, the central and autonomic nervous system, and we see how strong is that foundation? How is it communicating with that eat, sleep, poop, all of those centers? 
And how is that allowing or not allowing everything else like motor tone, big brain functions to progress? Now, if there's a shaky foundation in that central or autonomic nervous system communication with the digestive system, the sleep regulation systems, the, um, you know, everything required to eat and keep things down, that's going to create a shaky foundation for everything above. So now the good thing is that doing just one thing, chiropractic adjustments, can help address issues with sleep, with eating, with pooping, all at once. And that's because it restores communication between the brain, the nervous system, and all of these systems that control the eat, the sleep, and the poop, which then allow your child's body and brain and nervous system to continue to graduate as they were designed to do at an optimal level through the bigger brain or through the motor tone first and then the bigger brain functions. You know, we see parents, parents come to us and oftentimes their child struggling with one, two or three of these baby basics and, you know, they're not alone. So first I want to say if you have any questions, please leave a comment or send us a message. Second, if this video speaks to you because you have friends, you have a family member, you have, you know, another child that you know is struggling with any of these baby basics, please share this video. And lastly, if it's your child, if you resonated with this video and your child struggling with the sleep, the constipation, ear infections, with the, um, you know, anything that we talked about today, we're here to help. And you go ahead and give us a call so, to see how we can help, how we can help through chiropractic. And every child deserves to thrive from the very beginning. And that means starting with the very basics. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.